They are always spoken of with respect mixed with primal fear. These are the oldest objects in the universe. No one will ever leave their deadly embrace to tell others about what lurks in the dark depths of heavenly traps. Today we will talk about the secrets of the appearance of black holes and why these anomalies exist in the macrocosm. A black hole is an object that cannot be observed by direct methods, such as asteroids, planets, or stars. But the fact of its existence is practically beyond doubt. Such confidence is reinforced by hundreds of indirect studies in astrophysics of such calculations. What is this information? In fact, this is a funnel formed by a body so heavy that it literally sinks into space, involuntarily distorting it. As a result, we see not the supermassive object itself, but the results of its interaction with the surrounding bodies. For example, if there is a star or nebula in the immediate vicinity of a black hole, then an invisible monster will gradually eat the victim's substance until it completely disappears in the monster's insatiable belly. There are four main hypotheses explaining how these unusual objects appear. The first says that some massive body, approximately having a weight of at least three suns, as a result of the collapse instantly turns into a black hole. Why is compression happening? For purely physical reasons. When the fuel for thermonuclear reactions runs out, the substance begins to sharply flatten. If the gas pressure is not compensated by anything, then the collapse continues until the body turns into a black hole and dives into a spatial funnel. According to the second theory, not only stars, but also gas clouds in the centers of galaxies are able to shrink so much that the appearance of an invisible monster becomes a reality. The remaining two scenarios are identified as hypothetical due to their low probability. For example, some astrophysicists have suggested that primordial black holes literally sprang from nothing just after the Big Bang. The last possible way is the appearance of microvortices during the operation of hadron colliders or during energetic nuclear reactions. But what kind of birth will the black hole choose? One thing remains unchanging. Everything that falls beyond the horizon of its events forever leaves this world. What is in its depths? To determine this issue, scientists have adopted a conditional classification. They love to organize everything. The first type of black hole was calculated by Schwartz, assuming that there is a singularity inside the funnel. The second type, according to Rehner and Nord Stream, apart from the obligatory singularity, contains some electric charge. The third possible option is visually invisible formations. Ray Keen calculated in 1963. According to his calculations, there are rotating but not drawn black holes. Two years later, in collaboration with the Englishman Newman, the scientist decided to supplement his own hypothesis and added to the electric charge the characteristic of the rotating singularity of the object. This is how the fourth type of black holes appeared. If we consider the first type of a bottomless funnel, it becomes obvious that its structure consists only of an outer event horizon and a singularity. We can say about the latter that this is the state of matter tending to infinity, where the laws of physics do not work. In other words, the singularity. This is a completely incomprehensible place that has no analogs on Earth. In other types of black holes, these characteristics are complemented by a sphere, funnels moving in the direction of rotation, and a slight electrical impulse. If we discard scientific theories, then the question of what is inside a black hole can be answered even more simply, that which had once been absorbed by her. Therefore, it most likely consists of the very neutrons that were formed during colossal compression and accompanied the birth of a gravitational trap. What is the mass density and temperature of a black hole? The weight of the funnel is determined by the initial mass of the object that spawned it. For example, the heaviest hole ever discovered weighs 21 billion suns. It's also hard to imagine how meager the banking parameters of quantum black holes are. The density of these strange adventures of the cosmos is no less difficult to understand. For example, it is known that the smaller the mass of a black hole, the higher its density. Therefore, the coolest are bank-sized quantum babes. For such objects, this parameter can reach tenths of a kilogram per cubic meter. For comparison, the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Notably, deadly black holes are very cold. 
Their temperature is often around minus 270 degrees, although there are exceptions that study the energy of millions of atomic bombs detonated at the same time. True, while they exist only in theory. No one has ever seen such objects with their own eyes. Having dealt with the structure and physical characteristics of black holes, the question of their purpose remains open. Why does nature create these strange objects, and why do they regularly devour everything that is within their reach? Nobody knows the exact answer. So the options are basically fantastic. The most realistic scenario is that black holes are the generators of alternate universes. But it is believed that, given the unpredictability of the singularity in our world, it is likely that it can be controlled from the territory of another universe located on the other side of the black hole. The second assumption concerns the practical significance of these seemingly useless anomalies. I mean their control functions. It is black holes that do not allow the gas clouds that give rise to stars to cool down. It turns out that in this way they regulate the amount of stellar population. According to some astrophysicists, the fact that they are stations for the production of energy and the transformation of atoms into atomic particles also speaks in favor of black holes. And 50 times more efficient than the process of nuclear fusion familiar to us. Some consider the black hole to be the hand of God since without substances we produce them with it. There would be no universe. It turns out that these objects take on the functions of the Creator. What do you think is the limit? Don't wait. There are more exotic theories that come true. Sometimes a black hole is compared with a portal to another world, or even with a living organism that exists according to incomprehensible laws. It is interesting to assume that matrices programmed by someone control the life process of a black hole. They say what exactly can pass through the portal unhindered, and the rest is ruthlessly destroyed. In a word, black holes, mysterious objects in which we understand very little. The rest is covered with a thick veil of secrecy. Do you want to talk about it? Then welcome to the comments under the video. Subscribe to the channel and like this video as well as write how you release and what you want to see more.